All right, we're going to tackle a Mazda 2003 B3000 uh, pickup truck. As you can see, the passenger mirror busted. Had a nice little run in with a mailbox. Let me cover the legals real quick. I'm not a professional. I'm not by any means saying this is the way it should be done. Consult your mechanic or your owner's manual or the Mazda dealership, whoever, uh, before making any repairs to a vehicle. But I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's fairly simple. I've already took the liberty of taking some of this apart, but you got two screw holes underneath the door handle. Take those out and the door handle will slide straight up. And then, as you can see, there's two connectors right there. And these connections go in them. You just take a screwdriver and lightly pull it back and then pry up on it and it'll slide off. You see the connectors are flat and they've only got the lock on one side. Once that's done, you got one more screw hole down near your speaker, bottom right hand corner of the door when the door is open. And you got one right here, just right below the door handle. Take those two out and the door handle itself, I mean the whole door panel itself will, will uh, come up on you and it, it will come off. All right, your next step, you got four screws in your speaker. You take those four screws out, the speaker will come out and the plug for your pigtail off of your mirror is right there. It's a three wired plug and the main harness runs different. It's like four wires, but pry that back, pry it apart. And then we're gonna take the old mirror completely out. Just so you know what I'm doing here, I took a screwdriver, I barely pried that back. And then I, you keep pushing up on that tab and the two will come apart. I actually kept pushing up on it and then I was finally able to pull it apart with my fingers. At that point, your old mirror assembly should slide right on out. If your uh, new mirror doesn't come with the foam, you'll want to take this piece of foam off and uh, mine came with it and put it back. Okay, I got the foam. It just fits through that slot, slides up there, your bolt holes. If this particular mirror had this thing on the end, you want to pull that off. It's another protector right there just to protect that corner during shipping. Then at this point, you want to feed your cord back through the main hole and put the three bolt holes, the three bolts and the three bolt holes right there. All right, you're probably gonna have to have some help. You can do it by yourself, it's a little tricky, but you wanna line these three studs up with the bolt holes here. Be easier if you got somebody to hold it in place while you put your nuts on the other side. Put them on the other side, be careful not to drop them down in the door panel so you don't have a rattle or any kind of thing like that. All right, got that done. In this case, I had to get my wife to help me hold the mirror in place so I could put the nuts back on. If you do drop one, you can just reach down inside your speaker hole here and get it out. Um, I dropped it, dropped one. Got them all three in place. And then as you can see, this plugs back in there. There's only a lock on one side and the little not notch is facing you. The lock slides down, straight down. That connection is made straight down just like that. Next steps, put your speaker back in place. Luckily, the speaker's got a magnet on it, so you can just let it. You can let it set on the edge down here while you're doing your work, and then you put your speaker back in place, and the four little screws back in place. All right, next step, you're gonna put your moisture barrier back in place, top and bottom. should stick back in place for you. If it doesn't stick back in place, you can go to the uh, auto parts place and you can buy some more adhesive. But 
if it sticks back in place, by the time your door panel gets seated, you should be in good shape. It's about, you got that one for your mirror, and then you got the main one for your door. Should like look like that. Next, we're gonna hang our door panel. And as you can see, the door panel has several plastic hooks. And then those line up with the slots on your door. Once you get it in place, you just kind of push down on the whole thing and it'll lock into place for you. Okay, next thing you got, you got a screw that goes right here. You got one down here. Put those back in. The next thing you're gonna plug two plugs into the outlets. Windows. And it'll only reach. You don't have enough slack to get them crossed up. But that one's going to plug in to here. That one to here. Once you get them plugged in, you're going to put your door panel back in place. Put your door panel back in place. You got, after you get it plugged up, you got two screws right there. And you'll be done with the job. All right, when you get the door panel in place, you give it a friendly tap. Make sure everything's seated. And right here, you got two screws that goes in there. Everything's been tested. Everything works. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm not by any means saying this is dealership standards. It's just the way I do it. If this helped, please leave a comment. Give me a like and subscribe to my channel. If it didn't help, please leave a comment so I can learn. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. I'm out. Have a blessed day.